Hello and welcome to episode two of Building the Car Guitar. And today I'm not gonna gonna show you actually how I build something, but uh, I'm gonna show you something interesting too, I guess. Uh, and that's like my shop. And I'm gonna walk around and show you stuff and uh, show you what I'm working with and uh, where am I and uh, yeah. It's it's hopefully gonna give you like a nice nice overview uh, what I'm dealing with and uh, yeah w when you watch the actual series and uh, I'm like at a certain uh, point and doing something with my hands and you don't have like an overview I think it's it's gonna be nice to kind of give a frame to that uh, and make make the whole experience uh, a little bit better and I'm gonna use a uh, my my camera for that, and walk around and point at things and uh, show you show you the shop. Okay, so this is my shop, and it's uh, in the middle of the city, and it's in the first story of this building, and yeah. I should clean the windows maybe sometimes. But, yeah. So that's the city of Fortsheim. And it was actually a insurance company's uh, office here. So who would have, have guessed that uh, I'm gonna build guitars here? And so this is my main room. And you can see I got like this big table in the middle. Basically, it's it's like two tables, and that's like the place I work most. And here I got like some some rasps, and it's like the rasps and fire section, and a lot of uh, small tools I use all the time. And yeah, basically, there are the tools I use most. Yeah, I got some small files. It's like a magnet. I just put them on there. And here's like a nice, nice Dremel, Dremel kind of thing. Got from my father, who is a goldsmith. He used to clamp everybody, every luthier in the world has got one. It's uh, irreplaceable, best tool ever. Yeah, got some tables here and yeah, there's like some, got some French polish, some stained French polish. And got my clamps here. There are like some pieces of wood, some long pieces of wood, some short ones. <laughs> Here is like a uh, like a trommel kind of fixture to route out the the uh, bridge slot. And yeah, at the moment I'm uh, preparing for a uh, show. It's called Guitar Summit, and. Yeah, I'm upgrading my my logo, and uh, I made this piece of solid oak, and there's my logo in it, and I'm gonna illuminate it, hopefully. Yeah, there's where I take uh, store my uh, nuclear waste, and up there. Wait a second. Up there, I got like some uh, cloth and tissues and stuff. Always never get enough uh, ear protection. And here is the second room. And that's like my, my, my dust room. So here's uh, quite a lot of uh, machines and uh, like um, materials, there's like some metal materials, some screws and some staining stuff and like the vacuum pump and uh, yeah, a lot of molds. I, I have like a billion molds and uh, yeah, most of them I don't use anymore. 
Okay, here I got my drill and like a small belt sander. I don't have like much much space here, so I can't have like big tools. Always like small tools with the uh, 240 volt. Couple of more like uh, unused molds I don't use anymore. So there is still some wood. Some sandpaper, some more wood. There's like my bandsaw, and there's like some off cuts of wood. And there I got like some, yeah, firewood basically. And here is one of my most important tools I made myself. And it's a uh, thickness sander or drum sander. And yeah, it's actually really nice. And I can basically turn this and the whole table moves up and down. So I got this construction down there. The bars here are moving at the same time because of the chain. And yeah, it's gonna move up and down parallel. Here I got like a small, small plane. It's actually uh, enough for guitar building. Mostly I need it for like uh, neck planks and stuff. So that's that's enough for it. Otherwise. Okay, so let's start for this room. Okay. Here yeah, I still got something to show you. Um, there I take uh, I store like, uh, yeah, bottled stuff, <laughs> glue, and uh, also I think there's some alcohol, some shellac, oil, polish, everything like bottle shaped. Um, there are a lot of templates and stuff, uh, a lot more templates. I don't use most of them anymore. Uh, down there <laughs> and yeah it's basically where I store a lot of things this thing I made uh, during my industrial design studies and uh, yeah contains like small things thread wire like some screws and a lot of tape and stuff there's like some polishing materials strings veneers and here's like my uh, music, my hi-fi, and uh, yeah, it's maybe a little bit interesting. It's something I made during my studies, and uh, yeah, this is aluminium foam, and uh, I can illuminate this uh, acrylic glass, and then it glows really nice. And here's like the, the base, uh, base box, uh, and it's uh, called a repole. So there's like two, two base boxes, kind of uh, uh, directed at each other and uh, compressed the air simultaneously, and uh, yeah, create a really nice base. Okay, so next room. Here we got my uh, storage room slash uh, exhibition room, so where I keep my guitars. I also uh, keep some uh, tone wood I'm gonna use in the near future. And this room is like the most stable when it comes to humidity. And uh, yeah, it's also good, uh, easy to, to keep dust free. <laughs> so that's also, uh, Nice, so yeah, there's always some dust on something, but uh, yeah, that's where I keep stuff. So these are like a lot of things I've been working on and uh, basically haven't used uh, a lot of bridges I might use someday. And that's gonna be, uh, that's 
it's gonna be a body for uh, future guitars. Also, I got a uh, couple more uh, ready, ready to use hamstone bodies. So, two, three more, and uh, gonna get a couple of new ones. These are like the offcuts of the hamstone bodies, and I can use them to to test out the finish. So that's always nice to have. And uh, yeah, here are some uh, old, basically some prototypes. This was like the first double top guitar, and I made it quite too stiff. So yeah, it's not sounding that great, but yeah, <laughs> it's okay, I guess. Uh, this one I tried out a lot, like replaced the top leg several times, and uh, it's like there's like an anchor in it uh, that's uh, taking the neck pressure, and like the neck neck joint is like totally different, and uh, yeah, but it's nothing for sale, I guess, only for friends maybe, <laughs> and uh, yeah, old old one also I removed the braces from the top so they're like it's just a thin piece of spruce it's still holding up if you put on the strings by the didn't put them on and yeah so here I got um, yeah it's a sculpture I made during my industrial design studies so I have no other place uh, so I put it here and yeah up there, a little more, some prototypes, old guitars I have to do over. And here are some finished guitars. So, a couple of new ones. This is uh, very new. This is quite, quite new. Then I got the prototype for the electric counter guitar, or one of the prototypes. There's the solo wood guitar, and there's like uh, the other electric guitar. So, yeah, I'm gonna take most of them to Guitar Summit uh, next week. So, they're hanging here waiting. Um, yeah, rest of the room is just a storage room. So, yeah, let's go on. So here is like my entrance room and I use it basically to yeah make photos. So there is uh, my paper background, a couple of lights and yeah it's really nice to have like this big room to, to make photos. And then there is like my uh, roommate and she's uh, studying jewelry design and uh, yeah she's mostly painting and here's like the bathroom quite dirty but uh, <laughs> it's a shop so that's okay and yeah so that's what I'm working with and yeah it's not it's not much uh, my tools aren't the, the best tools in the world. I don't have like super expensive hand tools or anything, uh, but it's working. Something I forgot to show you. I can pull out this table, and I got my table uh, table saw and my routing table. So there's like my router underneath, and yeah. And the church is uh, ringing every five minutes, so uh, sorry for that. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so this was my little uh, shop tour. And I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope you stick around for the actual uh, building episodes. There are going to be a bunch of them. 
And I think next is going to be how I built the bridge. So stay tuned for that. And uh, see you next time.